today we'll be talking about the things that that are likely to fail you during preparation for the 75 watt regular course and today we'll be talking about the top three factors or the top three facts that may likely fail you in your 75 regular course preparation please take note of this and kindly watch the video not to fall a victim in what in your preparation for the 75 regular course one studying only textbooks without using compendium past questions and answer may likely fail you this is because most academic past questions are repeated each year so studying the past question and answer will give you more insight on how the academic screening test question are being said and how to answer them what correctly <clears throat> on the exam or uh, some questions might be repeated which what might be a lock to you and what this will what enable you enable you save time and answer what them correctly and have your mark what, recorded what in your so in case you see any of the past questions in your what in your exam just what click on the answer and move to the next questions because there's no time for you what to be wasted since the question you saw what is the past question now let go what to the second part or to the second tips that might what fail you during your preparation for the what, 75 regular course number two studying without time and confidence Okay, now let's break this down. Studying without time and confidence. Normally, as a student or a, as an aspirant, you need to schedule your time for reading. Don't just carry your book or maybe when you feel like reading, just take your book out and start reading. No. Make sure you have your timetable. If you are a senior student, okay, you prepare, maybe for example, where... Uh, Today now I'm going to study math and uh, math and chemistry in the morning, afternoon, biology, physics, then maybe in the night, uh, English and uh, what biology. So just schedule your time. Don't just ah I be, I don't feel like it today. My yokai book. No, 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 that's not so. Please also make sure that. Do your timetable, schedule it, and when it is time, jack your book. So, now let's move uh, to the confidence part of it. And having no confidence, having no confidence in studying will also affect your way of answering your questions in the exam hall. All this can also lead to anxieties, panic, when the time is going down and might make you to start thinking wrong answer in, in the name you want to finish everything so have confidence that be bold that these questions you may, you, may, uh, you will answer the word correctly and don't have any panic issue or maybe you be panicking that ah this question ah if you go hard or no, no, no just be positive think positive that it doesn't know how the exam is going to look like but by the special grace of god you're going to what answer the questions correctly is that clear so number three is that not going for physical and medical fitness most many candidates do not do this because they believe it will cost them more money and so they can't afford so they skip it and leave it aside. Truth be told, this is the main reason many candidates are being disqualified in medical ways in every regular course because they fail to take good care of their body when they have the opportunity to do so. So my advice for you as we are a candidate, make sure you do some exercise, do some push-up, do some jogging, all this kind of stuff. To, to boost your to boost your your morale and what 
boost your confidence and to make sure that you stay positive so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more updates of our video and what if you have any question leave a comment